Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, what we are doing with uh, uh, manga and anime characters. So kids actually know this better than us. Uh, they know those cartoons and the characters. Uh, but me, as an artist, uh, can just teach you how to draw them uh, in Procreate. Uh, why Procreate? Because when you will get or find uh, further lessons uh, somewhere in the internet, most of the lessons uh, for digital art is um, actually designed in Procreate. Um, and um, not only because of that, but because in Procreate you can change some layers and those layers uh, will give us an opportunity to change the background or change the dressing for the characters. And we will uh, find out how to use layers in Procreate and uh, how to uh, save our pictures with uh, different uh, uh, backgrounds or uh, attire. Okay, so first we are going to Procreate and now I will be sharing. Um, I will be sharing my screen. Gosh. Share screen, share screen, done. Okay. Now I lost my option to share screen. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Found. So it's share content, and I will share the screen. And we are going to Procreate. So now you can open your Procreate. Okay. What we see here in Procreate, we are now in the gallery. In the gallery where we have all our uh, works or some pictures we saved uh, or just uh, blank canvases. So, and first what we are doing, can you see this on the top? You can see uh, that um, on the top right, uh, you will see uh, select, import, photo, and the plus. And the plus, we just, uh, with our pencil, we just uh, push the plus. And there we can see the screen size. So we are choosing our um, we are choosing our paper or uh, uh, something that um, the size of our artwork and um, the actually um, orientation of that, whether it's um, uh, vertical or horizontal or square. So let's take the square one square just just uh, something easy and yeah and it's appeared in our working desk right so then uh what to start with and where to go on the top right again uh we see the instruments the uh, tools uh this is a drawing tools brushes brushes, pencils, and all other stuff. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen and procreate? Да, да, да. Да, хорошо. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Спасибо. Now, yeah. Uh, so then we can uh, choose the size of the brush. Can you see that? So on the left, so top one is the size. You can make it small, very small and big. But remember that if it's even very small, I'm not sure what the instrument I've got. Just take it, yep. We can enlarge our um, canvas. And the left bottom, it's an opacity. Opacity, it's uh, how it dense, uh, whether it's open, or it's transparent. Yeah, usually we will use uh, opacity 100% or a little bit like 90, 95. Um, if we, I, I will explain you later that um, when you will be 
draw in our character and uh, everything. And if we use something different from blank white on the background, or if we will use the photo, so we will need opacity 100% uh, in our brushes. Why? Because if it will be uh, less than 100%, uh, the background or the photo you will be uh, putting your character will be visible. So it will be transparent, you know, translucent. And it will have pretty, um, yeah, <laughs> pretty funny effect. <laughs> okay, so uh, then on the top right, we will see that um, uh, eraser, it's fine. And then we see these two squares and they are uh, layers. When we work with layers, we can switch them on and off and I will show you what it will give to us. So first, we will see the first one, it's a background. We can, yeah, tap on the background, please. And you will see that we can use, for example, we can choose a, a color for the background. Okay, any color, you just use your pencil. You can use uh, any um, palette scheme. It's a disc, I use disc, you can use something different. Yep. Um, you can use harmony style and like work here. Uh, if it's convenient to you, you can use value. But it's in in my opinion, this is more difficult actually to understand. Classic one, just colors. That's film colors, like a chosen one by machine. Or you can go around. Um, yeah, and palette palette uh, for again for the um, you know like harmony, uh, which is like a set of palettes, uh, something you know like um, set it uh, before. For comic, you look, you use, look, someone like created mm, comic palette. Yeah, but uh, for your freedom and uh, to make it easier, you can use this classical uh, disc, very easy. <clears throat> so, okay, uh, you can use not only color for the background, you can use, you can use as well any material or texture and you can play with that for example let's make it wood yep yeah if you yeah look how you can try when you tap on the tool you can try how does it work so yeah make it smaller yeah wider strokes using these stuff Mm -hmm. Yep, example, yeah, okay, and we can work it here. So you tap, you work, okay, and we have wood, kind of, <laughs> wood. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah, what we have, awesome, oh, whatever, so, ah, actually, it was on the layer one. Hmm. Okay, so it didn't didn't let us to change on the background. So uh, now we have two layers. First one, background color, only color, flat color. And the next one is a layer, layer one. We can switch on and off layers and they will be visible or invisible. Booms, I took off background color and I have layer one. And on layer one, I can continue with uh, wood and change the color a little bit, for example. Okay. Yeah. If you decide to take it off or change, so you just use on the left, on your left, on your left, you can use the error back. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. It's now empty. Okay. So just play a little bit with colors and layers. 
uh, this texture maybe, or you can use elements. There is something like whimsical, pretty interesting, snow, ocean, water, yeah, materials like um, concrete, uh, skin, zombie skin, <laughs> so pretty interesting, zombie skin, all skin, so whatever, yeah, lots of uh, vintage style uh, look, or for example, something like uh, flowers here. So do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, when you're in the uh, tool, you can press to the tool and make spacing more or bigger distance between um, particles or transparency. Okay. Yeah. So just experiment with that a little bit, play. Yeah, cool, awesome. So add another color and add some more, just play around. Mm -hmm. Have uh, different versions of Procreate. So sometimes uh, maybe you may have or may have not some tools or they may be in different sections. Just check, just check everything. Organic, for example, fashion, pretty interesting actually. Cotton, yeah, fluffy ones, clay. Just scroll down with your uh, pencil experiment. Check what it is, for example, yeah. all oh, pretty interesting stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can use all those effects in your drawing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Background color, for example, I'll do orange and check how it works. Oh, look. So I chosen the ground color and it's changing the whole picture, right? Well, I can take off the layer. So try to switch on and switch off the layers. Yeah, and check how they work. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> now uh, let I show you how to work with sketch because actually it's a background. We can add something, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, I, I will show you how to add the photo to the background. So we just switch off those layers, or maybe just first one, and add another layer. Can you see that plus on the top right? Yeah, we've got another layer, layer two. Now we are on a layer two. So then go to the gallery on the top menu on the left, and you see this, um, how to call it, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, and not a handyman. So you have the tool. You have a tool photo. Yeah, that's an icon, icon of a tool. Yeah, and there is a actions here. Can you see actions? Okay, so actions. And then the first one on the left is add. You can add. You can add. Insert a photo. Can you see? Insert a photo. Boots. Ah, and we can insert the photo. Mm -hmm. Oh, very small one. But anyway, we can enlarge it. With your fingers, you can enlarge it with your fingers. And just, yeah, you can see in the menu there are different options. Flip it vertical or horizontal, rotate, fit to canvas, but actually everything could be done with your fingers. Put your two fingers to the screen and uh, yeah, enlarge it uh, and put whatever you would like, whatever angle or part of the photo you would like to use. So it's easy with your two fingers because we have iPad, uh, actually on any, any tablet, 
screen is sensible. So yeah, boot. Okay, can we just tap it there? Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So on the top left, we can see the error and we just tap on that. On the top menu, it was error was um, blue. So I tap it back, it's blue and we see the menu uh, in the bottom. So we are going back and tap it back and switch it off. Okay. Is everyone was able to use photo? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, now we have photo and we go back to layers. And what we see, we have three layers. One, two, and three. So layer one is not working. Yeah, it's switched off. Background uh, is not visible. So inserted image actually covers everything. But we can take it off and we'll have the previous two ones or we put it on and it will be here. Okay, so then, then we are doing our sketch and uh, for the sketch, we just get the very simple, very simple character, just uh, get the uh, shape of the person and we'll see how it works. So let's go and add another layer on the top right, another plus and layer three, okay? Yeah, and I would recommend you to tick off uh, the photo we inserted and the layer with the textures and only leave background, okay? Because otherwise it will be hard to draw, all right? So, okay, so we are on a sketching clear. What we do on sketching? On the sketching, we are doing very rough, uh, uh, working with very rough drawing. Um, and for the sketching, um, I checked different ones. And I think that um, there went probably one of the best one for sketching. It's very uh, narrow. Uh, like a uh, yeah, very small one and not very bright. And it uh, will be easier to uh, cover with other uh, lines, which is with the solid lines. So we just got Dervent for pepper, peppermint as well, pretty good, very delicate. Yeah, working well for uh, sketching. I tried Procreate Pencil again. You can try different and find whatever is most, uh, you know, like convenient for you. So, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll use Dervent Pencil. It's like this. You can try it here. So you can go to the instrument right here. When you press it, let's just check. When you uh, use light pressure or no pressure at all, it will be very, very light, uh, you know, like marks. When you push your pencil to the screen, you will get brighter ones. Can you see that? Okay. So you can check all the instruments and choose whatever you like more, which is more convenient to you. Actually, these two ones are very similar. Procreate pencil, I guess the same. Yeah, Procreate is pretty good as well. It's giving us very thin ones. It could be like, look, uh, it's not this small, fluffy uh, or solid. Depends, spacing between, yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, you may use Procreate Pencil then. Uh, for the solid drawing, for the um, uh, finished result, we will be using 6B Pencil, but not right now. 6B Pencil will give us very uh, solid marks. Yeah, pretty good ones. Very, it's like a soft pencil, very soft pencil, very nice. Yeah. Okay, so go first to Dervent or Procreate 
and uh, choose the uh, color. Uh, color may be uh, color may be something which will be visible um, and easy to see for you when you will be doing your final drawing. For example, let's do some like a. Uh, uh, we have a background. I will change the background color. Sorry, because it's a uh, yeah. For me, it's not convenient to work. Okay, so now I'm doing the sketching with like brown. I love brown, or if it would be natural one, it would be sepia. So brown ones. Okay. Yeah, and for example, let's make really simple shape, absolutely simple, just um, yeah, sketchy. So remember that we can open up and make it small, okay? So for example, you do just simple shape of someone. Yeah. For example, I'm just measuring where is everything and just I'm showing you that um, how we use the sketchy stuff so we know that the proportion of the person for example and we just trying to make the uh, yeah make the proportions right and make the character I'll just choose something here yeah, I just didn't like it so we can use uh, errors back as well, uh, not the razor, but um, error back. So yeah, I can, why I make it so small? Because remember that I have a inserted image and it will be somewhere there. Oh, okay. So it's not in the right position, I see. Okay. So then now I just take it off. Uh -huh. And for the first time with this, with my pencil, okay, with my pencil, I have a supported picture uh, because I will see where it is. And I just make the lines, which will help me, guided, guided lines, which will help me uh, to draw the, uh, the person, any person, whatever. So on a very close, yeah, very close to me, for example. So yeah. And this is a sketchy, um, sketchy layer. So I can make whatever lines I will, I will like, because they they would be invisible in the final picture. So okay, I'm just doing the um, uh, the proportion lines, for example. We will find out about them later. We will work with them. <laughs> For example, yeah, and the head somewhere here. Yep, and the torso. So now I can switch off the background. Yep, and I can draw, I can enlarge my person with my fingers. Just use your fingers. Because yeah, digitally we can do anything in our iPad, it's very easy. So yeah, just can imagine what it is like here. Where's the legs, where's the uh, knees here. There's a waist, right? And I remember that at the waist, it's a uh, uh, elbows. They are, uh, yeah, the proportions. Uh, we will talk about proportions later. Don't pay attention now to them. Okay. So just uh, show you how we will be using it later. Uh, just showing the how to work with layers. So don't worry about that at all. Okay. Okay. So it's a just a sketch. Let's say it's our sketch, our proportions. We decided where everything, and then we go to the next layer. Okay, we go to the next layer and now change the um, pencil and change the color. Because we will be, uh, we will see that our sketch is with a brown, but our final one will be with black, say, okay? So, and we will see 
what we are drawing and where. So now what we have, we are drawing on a layer four. If we switch off the layer three, we have nothing. Okay, so we're switching on the layer three. Okay, I just check whether you have any questions. No, that's good. Okay, go back. Okay, so now we have a layer with a sketch. Then we check the size of our, our pencil. Opacity is 100. And we are drawing just on the top of this sketch. So, but now with the fine lines, oh, this is very thick. So I make it smaller with the fine lines. It's a, not a, any more character. It's just a, a technical stuff how we will be using layers, okay? Any more, uh, any more characters will start next uh, lesson. Yeah. And then we just do our hairs. Because when we will be working on any more characters, uh, we won't have enough time to, um, you know, for this technical stuff. Okay, so we just can check. Uh huh. Cool. Make sure you are working on the right layer. Okay, because I had once <laughs> I left eyes of the person on a sketchy layer, <laughs> um, and then <laughs> my final one was without eyes. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so just to uh... Okay, so let's check what we have here. Take off. Okay, now if we switch on the arc, what we see? We see the person transparent, just drawn on the top of the background. Right here. Everything transparent because we didn't paint it. <laughs> so what we are doing with painting? Painting we are doing on the uh, top or on the same layer where we done final drawing. And here you just make sure that everything actually painted. For example, the face. Start with face. To paint, we can use actually all pencils or inking instruments like brushes uh, or um, painting brushes. Painting brushes, let's say watercolor brush, but again, make it, make the opacity 100%, okay? The size depends, depends on the uh, size of your drawing. So then we use color, for example, for skin, for skin, let's make it very light. Okay. And just paint all the skin. And remember that everything, all the white, should be blocked with color. Otherwise, you will see, okay, I can make it bigger. Otherwise, you will see the background, which will be transparent.
Okay, let's check how it will look like or with the whole background. For example, if I put the layer oh, with a photo. Ah. Uh -huh. So what we see here, so depending on our brushes, we have different effects. Watercolor by nature is a transparent uh, medium, but and even though we used opacity 100%, it's still transparent and we can see through that layer, we can see the background. Another brush we, we used, I used, for example, here, it was an ink brush and because ink is more opaque or any other brushes like um, it was ink brush. With painting, it would be um, it would be acrylic or round brush. Okay, haven't expected that. Uh, inking was pretty good with cinder box. Let's let's uh, write this num uh, name because can you see that? Um, uh, oops, that. Her hair actually opaque, they are not transparent. So brush, write down for yourself, brush ink, inking, because we have to know our tools and don't waste time when we will be working on our characters, Tinder box. Uh -huh. Cool. I guess Syrup will work as well. We can check. So, because we have to find out our instrument slide. Uh -huh. so, okay, so I switch to Syrup. Syrup. And let's make your chord. Okay. Let's check how it works. Oh, is it that one? Inking Syrup. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, maybe too dark, maybe a bit lighter. Uh -huh. Yep, let's try. Yeah, very nice. So write down for yourself so it may be smaller, maybe bigger. And look what it, uh, what's going on. When I just touch the screen, it's a thin line. If I press my um, push harder, my pencil, the line is wider. Try yours as well. Yeah, to know how it works because all brushes are different. Yeah, pretty good one. This one is good. Even without uh, making it bigger, it works. Can you see that? Right. So you can share to your computer here. Share. Can you see that? Yeah. In very different uh, style. So you can share uh, and save JPEG, PNG, TIFF, lots of, oh, actually everything, every type of the pictures, uh, even PDF and PNG, uh, PNG styles. And if you do video, you can um, use animated PM, uh, animated file. Okay, so you can uh, share this file, then you can go change the background and share, share it here with this picture, okay? Or you can take everything off and just uh, use this picture or you can add another layer, I'll just show you. Uh, actually, it's time to finish, but I just show you. So we can add the layer we can insert another 
photo if you would like. It's still, yeah, insert the file, uh, insert the photo, right? So you can insert the photo, for example. Uh -huh. And this photo is on the top because it's the top layer. But what we can do, we can tap it and push it down here. Oops, try. So you just uh, tap with your pencil and push it down between layers. It's becoming small and you can put it anywhere, but in the bottom behind the top drawing. Mm -hmm. Okay.